Hello everybody. I re round two armatures, as you can see, a little do-it-yourself. This is the first one I made. I used 22 gauge wire. This was a 20 turn, or 19 turn. Anyway, I bench tested this one and it didn't really work that well. Uh, we ran, uh, one of the armature um, electromagnets was round, round, um, wrong. Either one less or one more too many winds. So it's, a, it's, it's vibrating quite a lot. So I reround this one with a, a 26 gauge wire. And this is a 45 turn motor. Could have had a few more winds on there. I thought I didn't need too many winds. So I'm going to test this one out and see if it works better than this one. Hello everybody. I have the reround armature in this pink pocket rocket motor. This is a can that I had left over. So we're going to give it a shot and see if it works. In reverse. That's success right there. Yeah. Hello everybody. Just thought I'd show you this here. This is the Matrix motor. Originally a 75 turn motor, which happens to be this armature right here. Looks a little better than my armature. This one. I used green wire because that's the only wire I had in this gauge and then also this one's a little blacker than this one because this used to be a 12 by 2 turn motor really hot setup well it was until I, I burn it up in that thing anyway so these are the two motors armatures compare to each other before I put them back in the can and when I put it back in the can I'm going to use the same everything same washers same brushes same timing same springs same everything so nothing's going to change except for the armature same gear ratio too All right. hello everybody I'm going to do a little compare and contrast here. I have a Wheelie King converted into a rock crawler. It's got a 75 turn motor in it. And I'm going to show you what this one can do. There's full speed right there. So it's a little slow. I'm going to put the 45 turn armature in this thing and see how how much different it performs. Again, this is 75 turns. I'm going to use the same cans, so that way there's no no other variables in this. So, let's see how it works. Hello everybody. I got the armature put in that motor. I gotta tell you that I put this all together, put it on the ground here, and gave it some throttle, and wouldn't go. Now what the heck is up with that? Tried to give it a jump start, you know, a little push to get get it going, but it still wouldn't go. And I look, I tried to think of what would what would be wrong. Anyway, I found out I forgot to put the springs in, which is an honest mistake, you know. Anyway, so I took it all apart again, got the springs back on there, put it back together. Got a little frustrated with that because it kind of hassled the get that in there as you can see 
Anyway, I got it all together. I'm going to show you this thing. It's going to work for sure this time. Let's go full throttle forward. A little faster. Kind of hard to steer. faster than it was before, I'd say that's success. Alright, thank you for watching.